Church. Um, we're currently located in West Norrington, which is just outside of Norristown. It's cast to us to partner with, and uh, we have uh, sent our youngsters to work. Um, as we thought about someone to uh, dear brother, a teacher, a great mentor, Harvey Kong. And uh, it's been 21 years since he passed to be in glory, yet uh, it's so vivid and personally in my mind of the things that he would say, uh, sometimes with tears in his eyes, with shaking voice. Live our Jubilee, but we proclaim Jubilee. In Jesus' name we pray. The fount of every blessing turn my heart to sing thy praise. Praise the mount I fixed upon it, mount of thy redeeming love. And I hope by thy good pleasure. And didn't care what you thought. Uh, I learned later that he was he was visually whenever he began to speak, whether in class or in preaching in a church. Prince, Prince appropriate. That it is. He uh, served uh, when he finished seminary in Westminster Seminary. He, he pastored for a while in New Jersey before he went to Korea, where he served for a number of years. And uh, had a tremendous heart to treat prostitutes and finding a path to restoration, rescue and restoration while he was there. He brought the, the army came back in 1972. Uh, uh, I was still pastoring, so I didn't have really the time to the boat. This place being called the Harvey M. Khan uh, Center for Urban Mission uh, is a capstone to his ministry. But because Harvey Kahn uh, heralded the call to Jubilee. And I preached on that this morning at Jubilee Church. But, uh, but that call was to, to live out of the rich, deep well of the grace and mercy of God and to love others with that same love. And for that, I give thanks. Mrs. Colin Dorothy, um, but I'm so grateful to uh, meet up with you again. And um, I, I want to thank Beth, who is the oldest uh, daughter of Colin, Dr. Colin, and and then maybe you could introduce your daughter, who will give the second reflection. It's an honor to be here and to, you know, hear um, how this air building is going to be used to glorify God. And that's very exciting to me and um, happy to be here. My grandfather said, expect great things from God in the city. Attempt great things for God in the city. He prophesied to the church that in the great gathering centers of the world, we need to be present. And it is in these meetings and interactions that transformation is bound to happen. Do we want to be part of the transformation of the city by the power of the gospel of Jesus Christ? We can expect that transformation. It is going to happen, but do we want to be a part of it? My grandfather 
grandfather died when I was very young, but I knew full well that he loved me. His unassuming, gentle, funny, and empowering love has baptized me and will go before me for the rest of my life. Today, I want to dedicate this building with his love, that all who enter here may know that though we are all children before God, the nations belong to us. They belong to these children because they belonged first to Christ. I expect great things from God in this place, and I expect great things to be attempted for God in this place. Thank you so much for this honor. My grandfather loved the cities of the world, and he was excited about the city as a place where many different kinds of people come together and from which gospel transformation can take place. And now I am inspired by him. He worked in Korea, he was in East Asia, and I am excited now because I see how the cities of the world are starting to become more connected to each other. And I am excited about how there are growing relationships between the Arab world, the Middle East, and East Asia. And so I want to work uh, across the whole region and connecting uh, East Asian believers to start going into mission in the Arab world. I'm um, following just uh, several years from the, the end of the war. So he was in Korea from 1960 to 1972. And uh, I, I heard most of the children were uh, there at the time. <coughs> I didn't know exactly how to appreciate the family, so what, what, what I have is just a small token of our support. I think I'll give this to Rachel right now just to encourage her. Okay. Uh, don't expect a lot of things. This is just a small <laughs> we didn't make a huge collection of this. So we started uh, thinking about education uh, in 2013 and we, were, uh, we started praying for the public schools and for our neighborhood and uh, we have uh, a first Monday prayer for education every month and we've been doing that since 2013 and out of that came the idea of starting a, a vocational high school for our neighborhood uh, with Christ as the center and, and also uh, the focus on, on the community and the third thing is to have uh, to uh, help young people identify their calling so uh, instead of just a job or career we want, really want to emphasize uh, the idea of calling in their lives and so, so we started a summer program uh, in 2014 and then we had our Saturday morning programs and then uh, now we are, uh, have the opportunity to start the full-time school in, in the fall of uh, 2018. Jubilee um, partnering with us to purchase this building. Um, we're excited. I actually got some clearly excited about it. Um, but just in case you don't know, we're, we're planning. And um, although I didn't really know him, I've heard a lot about him over the years um, from our pastor and, and several people. And so we do... Uh, <laughs> Hi, um, Anita, I'm Anita McBain. Um, I'm the executive director for Vacasio Career Prep High School. And we're really excited that we'll be able to um, use this center, uh, Harvey Kahn Center uh, for Urban Ministry, to God's glory in the neighborhood of Hunting Park. And uh, we are very excited that we could partner with Jubilee Presbyterian Church on the purchase of this building and the use of the building. And we are just really in gratitude and humble for this opportunity to serve our Lord and Savior in this capacity in the future.
Jesus, we enthrone you. We proclaim you are King. Standing here in the midst, we raise you up. And as we worship build your throne, and as we worship build your throne, come Lord Jesus and take your place.